Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, college coaches. This is Coach Anthony Williams, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. We are a startup company based in Austin, Texas, and we are focused on using technology to help student athletes at the high school, collegiate athletes, and pro athletes tell their story. The days are over when we have to wait to get interviewed by a newspaper or a magazine or by a, a, a network television to learn more about athletes. Because of the technology, uh, podcasts like this and many other technology platforms allow are now allowing athletes to tell their story, not just who they are as athletes, but who they are away from their sport. We're really excited tonight to have a, a, a really somebody who is rising uh, in the class 25 Yes, college coaches, I said class 25. I'll get to that later. But before we get into the interview, let me thank some of our sponsors. Our first sponsor is Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, they are a national brand and we all love wings. I want to thank uh, Brian Soltis, who's one of the regional VPs there. He is a sponsor of our show and he's very as passionate as I am about helping student athletes tell their story in their own words. So shout out to Buffalo Wild Wings. I also want to thank my friends up in Nebraska, Go Edit Graphics. Uh, they do default graphics for athletic programs to use graphics as part of their outbound communication, whether it's a player profile, a schedule change, or any information coming out of the athletic department. They have great graphics that you can customize to your mascot, to your colors, uh, to get some uh, dazzling views uh, as, you, uh, as you post that. And then lastly, my friends over at uh, I Am Epic. I Am Epic is a new sports apparel company based out of Houston, Texas. Uh, owned by a friend of mine, Stefan Johnson. They do uniforms, they do seven on seven jerseys, they do lots of exciting, uh, dazzling gear uh, if you're an athlete, whether it's workout gear or whatever. So shout out to Stefan Johnson uh, and the folks at I Am Epic. Epic stands for every play I compete, great brand, great people, and a great product. With all that out of the way, I want to introduce our guest tonight in the podcast. This is somebody I've just gotten to know recently, uh, somebody that uh, had a great performance. Uh, here at Top Gun, and we selected him for the FBU Freshman All-American Game, uh, powered by Adidas. This is Aaron White. As I mentioned earlier, he's a class of 25 athlete and DB. He's got a 3.0 GPA. He is uh, out of Orange High School in California, Southern California. He's already 6'1", 160, so he's already got great size for DB. As I mentioned, he, is been he has been invited to the FBU uh, all Freshman All-American Game, uh, powered by Adidas. He's already got five offers. He has not played a high school down yet. I'll let him tell more about that. And for college coaches that don't know who Aaron is, you can look up his uh, Twitter feed there. His name is there, G6 Aaron with two R's to check him out. Aaron, how are you doing this afternoon? Good. Good, man. Hey, I'm looking forward to you telling your story. I got a chance to get to know you a lot better here at Top Gun. But let's start with the most important thing, as you know, which is the academics. We've talked about uh, playing football and being a recruitable athlete. Uh, tell us, uh, what are your favorite courses? Uh, and, and tell me about the importance you put on your academics. I like math, history, and science. And um, I, just put as, I just put as much work I could in learning in the classroom as I do in the football, at the football okay. field. What, what, uh, what's your favorite course? Which one do you really excel in that you really like? I like math. I like, I'm good with my numbers. Okay, math guy, okay. Um, tell me, there's, there's, uh, there, you, there's not a, uh, a student athlete that doesn't have a teacher, a coach, an advisor, a counselor, or a tutor that has made a difference in their academic career. Uh, whether it's back to elementary or middle school, name that person and what kind of impact they had on you academically. Mm, I don't remember. What about your parents? How are they? Are they big on making oh. make sure your homework is done and everything? Yeah. Okay. And uh, tell me, is is I'm sure I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Is academics important in the White family? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, you know I know you're still early, haven't started high school yet, but I'll ask the question for these college coaches. Do you have an idea what you might want to major in when you do get to college in four years? Really, my, I need to work on my technique, really, and my, gain my strength more. But, true, but, but as far as what you want to major in when you get to college, what you want to be in business, or you want to be in uh, physical therapy, what, what do you want to major in when you get to college? Physical therapy. Okay, all right. Uh, is that something you've always been interested in, and in just, you know, helping yeah. people overcome their injuries? Okay, mm -hmm. good stuff. All right. You know, another thing, uh, Aaron, college coaches want to know about their athletes they recruit is what kind of learning style they have. Would you consider yourself more of a verbal, 
visual or hands-on learning style? Hands-on. Okay. So you like to kind of put your hands on it that way you better understand it? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. And then tell me, you know, as we're getting on the back side of, of uh, COVID-19 here and, and this fall, college coach will be able to get out and get into visiting players out in their high school campus. If a college coach was to come by this fall and see you in the classroom, where are you sitting? How are you interacting with your teammates? And how are you talking with your teacher? Um, I would be sitting in the front of the class okay. and I'll try, I'll try my best to not get nervous. So do my okay. best on my work. And then uh, how do you interact with the teacher? Are you somebody that kind of helps that teacher keep the class calm or, or how do you interact yeah. with your teacher? I'll try to keep the class, the class calm and like okay. try to tell the kids be quiet and stuff like that. Good, 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 good. And tell us, you know, obviously there's, you mentioned you're good in math. There's some classes you probably struggle in. When you do come across a class that's really hard, what are some of the things you like to, that you do to help improve your grades in the class? Do you get a tutor? Do you see the teacher after class? What do you do to help yourself when you're struggling in class? I'll get a tutor and I'll try to go over things I'm messing up on. Okay, good stuff. And then, so let's switch over and learn a little bit more about you personally. I uh, got a chance to meet you. I uh, haven't met your family yet, but I'll meet them out in Naples here coming up. But tell us about your family. Tell us what your mom and dad do. Tell us if you have other siblings. Tell us about the White family. Uh, my family consists of four brothers and my dad raised, I, my dad raised all my brothers and um, my mom and dad separated. Okay. Are you the youngest, the oldest, or are you in the middle? I'm the youngest. Okay. And do you, uh, your older brothers, are they also athletes? Uh, no. Okay. And did your dad, did your father play any sports back in the day, even back in high school or college? Yes, football. Okay. What position? Corner. Okay. Tell us, being the baby brother, I mean, how much of an impact your older brothers, even though they didn't play the sport, uh, what kind of impact they had on you as older brothers? Um, they really believe in me and what I do. So they keep, you know, cheering me on. They're like, say, like, they're my fans and stuff. Like, they mm -hmm. really help me with everything I got. Okay, I like it. Uh, tell us, you know, I know how hard you work on the football field and workouts and everything, get ready for the season. But when you do have some free time, Aaron, what are some of the things you, you like to do away from football? What are some of your hobbies and interests? I like playing video games, really. Okay. Like really, and I like working out and stuff. What are your games of choice? Are you a Madden guy? Are you a 2K guy? What do you like to play? I like playing uh, Call of Duty, 2K, and much more games. Okay. Well, it begs the question. Are you taking L's or are you giving L's? Uh, I'll say both. <laughs> I love the honesty because every athlete I ask, they always say, oh, no, coach, I'm giving L's. So I like that you're honest about that. You know, I give some and I take some. Hey, Aaron, tell us a little bit about, you know, how important social media is when it comes to recruiting. You've got a very active uh, Twitter page. Uh, tell us, uh, for a coach that has not visited your Twitter page yet, what are, you, what are you sharing about yourself? What kind of message are you putting out there about yourself as you enter high school and the recruiting process? My, worth eth my work ethic and the way, the things I do on the field, like uh, my technique really and me catching picks on, on videos and stuff. Okay, I like it. Well, you know, so I, we talked about earlier, you're an athlete in DB. I mean, do you have a preference? I know you're very explosive. You've got good size already, good speed. Uh, do you prefer playing DB or do, are you open to playing on either side of the ball? Uh, I play, I play DB and receiver. So yeah, I do both. Okay. And do you, do you have an idea what you might want to play when you get to college? If you had to focus on one side of the ball? Uh, DB really. Okay. Corner or safety or nickel? Which one do you like? Or do you care? Corner. All right. I like it. Are you more of a lockdown man to man? Or are you more like, Hey, I can play some zone two, uh, Tampa two. What, what was your, what is your preference? I can do both. All right, good. I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, a uh, couple of uh, kind of lighter questions here. What's your favorite all-time sports movie? And it doesn't have to be football. Mm, I don't really have one. I don't really watch movies like that. Oh, okay, that's fair. Uh, what about uh, food? What's your favorite food? When it's your time to choose dinner, what do you eat? What are you selecting? I like burgers. Okay. Um, tell me a little about, I don't know if you're into, you say you're not into movies, uh, I would ask you about the, your favorite superhero. You were more of a, uh, if, if you could be a superhero, like a Superman or a Batman or Iron Man, uh, which one would you be and why? Um, I like Spider-Man. Okay. Because he, he's acrobatic. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me. Gotcha. 
Um, tell for, I know you're still early, once again, having started uh, on high school yet, but when you do go through the recruiting process, college coach want to know who's going to be involved in helping you make that decision. Will it be your dad, your brothers, or will it be other people? Who's going to be involved in that, helping you make that decision? Well, my uncle, um, Derek Holmes. Okay. My uncle, he helps me, he helps me, and my other coaches help me recruiting, like, um, Rashad Wadu, he helped me with recruiting. And, um, yeah, my okay. dad helped me recruiting, too. I don't think I told you this when we were at Top Gun, but I'm also from California, but from the Bay Area in San Jose, uh, moved to Texas a few years back. But uh, uh, do you want to stay in California? Are you okay with playing anywhere across the country? Give these coaches an idea of, of down the road where you, where you kind of want to play at. I like playing. I like California because I like the weather. It's not hot yeah. or cold. Right, right. No, that's, that's, I, miss, I miss that part of California big time being here in Texas. It's hot every day. Uh, yep. Tell me a little bit about, um, you know, there's not an athlete that doesn't love playing in front of a packed house on a Friday night or Saturday afternoon when they're playing football. But what are you doing to give back to your community? Are you involved in your church? Are you involved in a boys and girls club? Are you helping coach or train athletes? What do you do to, to give back? Um, I, help, I like helping coaches, really. Mm -hmm. Like, let's see. And I like helping the churches, too. Okay. That's good. I like that. Okay. Uh, tell me this, um, you're a good athlete. You played a lot of, well, let me ask you this first. Uh, you're a good size. What other sports have you played besides football? Are you a basketball guy, track guy, baseball? What else do you play? Only football. Okay. Only football. Uh, do you plan on running track when you get to high school? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cause every college coach loves a football player that is running track. So definitely working on your speed and competing in the spring is important. So that's, that's really good to know. Um, tell us, um, and now that we have that. Uh, tell me, what is your all-time favorite sports memory of yourself, a play that you made, whether it was in Pop Warner, in middle school, in your youth team, or anything like that? What's your favorite memory of yourself? You went, wow, I did that. Me saving the game winner, me hitting uh, the quarterback before he scored. Okay. Was that in, uh, in your, on your youth team back in the day, or when, how long ago was that? Uh, last year. Okay, good stuff. I like it. Um, tell me, tell these coaches, do you have a nickname? Or, or, or anything i go by jet okay i saw that in your timeline okay good answer i like that so jet is the name uh let's finish up with recruiting here so once again i know you haven't played a, call, a high school down yet but tell me <laughs> tell these college coaches how would your teammates describe you as a teammate um i'm like very helpful and i like i'm the leader i'm really a leader okay like i like I'd be in charge of the like stretching and stuff. Mm -hmm. I tell them straighten the lines and stuff like that. Okay, I like it. Lead by example. Um, Aaron, you're still new, obviously, Jet to to you know, football and playing in high school. But right now, as you start getting ready to start your your freshman year, what do you consider your strengths as a player, and what are some of the things you're working on going into your freshman year? Um, well, I have, my strength is my technique. Really, that's one of my strength. Uh, and uh, my height, because some kids really don't have my height. Right. And that's I have an advantage. So, and okay. one of my weaknesses is my technique. Yeah, I need to work on. on. Hey, you got jammed up there a little bit. Go ahead and repeat that last part. What is something you're working on? Oh, uh, my technique, because I mess up. Like on some techniques, I still mess up. So, I'm still training. Yeah, My coaches need me still. Gotcha. Well, you're still young and still coming through, and so that 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 that's going to be uh, something that the, is going to happen now. But we'll get better as you get older. Tell me, yeah. uh, Jet, what what motivates you on those days when you don't feel like working out in the weight room, where you don't feel like going to your workouts with your with your DB trainer? What motivates you to get out there and keep working? Well, my family really, mm -hmm. because I'm probably the only one that will try to make it out. Okay. All right. Look, family's a motivator. Nope, Definitely get that. Uh, tell me, are you a big film guy? When you get into high school here, is, is film going to be a big part of your preparation each week? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, got to study those receivers and know their routes because every receiver does tip what they're going to do uh, pre-snap. So make sure you understand that. Speaking from a father of an NFL DB that played you know, six years in the NFL, we studied film all the time. It only makes you better no matter how quick you are. Um, yep. Talk about mental toughness. You know, we're talking about uh, with the Olympics now and Simone Biles and the mental health of, of athletes. Uh, tell, tell these coaches, how do you define mental toughness and how does that play a big part in how you play on the field? Uh, 
I'm really focused on the field, like, so I want to, like, get scored on. So I'm really mm-hmm. focused, and I try to put my technique all together, all the, co- all the stuff I learned from my coaches, and, yeah. So. Okay. Well, you know, going back to you as a DB, as, as the father of one and played a little linebacker back in the day, obviously, but uh, tell me if I, if you had to grade these parts of your game, just, just tell me what grade you'd give yourself, just so I can help these coaches out. How would you, or how would you grade between A, C, A, B, C, or D, or F, uh, your stance? I'll say B. Okay. What about your uh, footwork, your back pedal? Uh, a. Okay. What about uh, your hip fluidity? How fast can you turn out of back pedal, turn and run full speed? How are your hips? B. Good. What about your ball skills? What about your hands? A. Good. And what about your vision? Uh, recognizing route recognition, jumping on routes. What about your vision during the game? I'll say B. Okay. And then also, Coach, I want to know, uh, Aaron, uh, do you play a role in special teams? Do you plan on being on maybe punt return or kickoff return, or do you know yet? Uh, I'll, I'll try to be on punt return and kick return. Okay. All right. Showing that skills in other parts of the game. I like it. Um, tell me a little bit about um, – Leadership. You talked about how you lead now, but uh, as a freshman, it's hard to lead because you're going to have upper class. And obviously, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure you're probably going to play varsity. But uh, how do you define leadership, and how do you plan on leading as a freshman without upsetting the upperclassmen? Well, I'll try to stay in my place, really, mm-hmm. and like be like. I don't know how to put that that question. No, I mean, you said it perfect. You would, I mean, you said the most important thing. You're going to respect the upperclassmen uh, and stay yeah. in your lane. And then as you go through your sophomore junior year, you'll be ready to leave these guys coming in also. So that, that's actually a great answer. Um, talk about, you know, there's, there's college coaches that love players who have a high competitive spirit. Every player says they don't like to lose, but they ain't always working that hard during the week. How would you tell your, how tell these college coaches, how would you define your competitive spirit? Well, I'm really hardworking. Like everything I do, I try my best. Okay. And then as far as, uh, you know, what about in a game, you're going against a good receiver uh, and you know that they're going to be throwing the ball to him. I mean, how does that, how does that competition drive you to play at your best at your highest level? Uh, wait, how can I put that one? Like, like what do you do when you, when you, when you know you're going against a good receiver, maybe somebody you played seven on seven and you're like, Hey, this oh. guy's as good as me. What, what are some of the things you're, you're telling yourself? Like, I got to do this. I got to get my back. Pedal, I got to be in the right position. What are some oh, things you're telling to, yourself to go on? I'll play it safe. Really? Mm-hmm. Like I want to slack off. I'll just focus hard as I could play safe. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Hey, as we finish up here, um, you know, tell these college coaches in a nutshell, uh, as you go through the recruiting process, uh, why they should recruit you and what you're going to bring to their program in four years after high school. Uh, like, what do you bring? What are you going to bring to that program? Hey, what you say? I was, I was asking you, what would you what, tell a college coach what you're going to bring to their program and why they should recruit you? It should recruit me because I'm hardworking and okay. I like whatever I do, I try my best and I'm a good teammate, friend. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a good answer. And then as we finish up here, uh, Jet, tell us, you know, obviously we were in uh, Florida not too long ago and, and you got named to the uh, FBU freshman All-American team. Uh, we had a, a great time out watching you, uh, you know, perform and we said, hey, he's going to be one of the top 60 kids uh, in the country. Tell us about that feeling when you were named to the freshman All-American team. I was really excited because um, on some plays I didn't really do well, so I was surprised. Yeah, but I mean, you—I mean, did you make that a goal coming into camp? I mean, obviously you want to get better, but were you like, "Hey, I'd, I'd love to earn an invite to this game that only six, sixty other players get invited to"? Yeah, good stuff, man. Well, hey, I'm excited about uh, you know following you as you go forward. Uh, oh, and we didn't talk about it also, Aaron. I mean, talk about how you feel as a freshman coming in. Uh, that you've already got five offers. I mean, what's that feeling like as 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 you start getting ready for this upcoming season? Mm, I just keep working hard, and I can't let m- nobody come above me, my level. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because as you know, there's not a lot of high school players who are stepping on campus for the first time that have that many offers. So obviously, you've already shown a lot of college coaches what you can bring. So I'm excited for you to to continue to grow and develop and work because if you've got five now. I mean, you're probably end up with, I don't know, 25, 30, 35 by the time uh, you're a yeah. senior. So I, I love that your hard work is paying off. 
Well, Aaron, thank I thank you for your time, man. I, I appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us a little bit. Uh, we'll do this again probably uh, maybe next year. Uh, tell your parents, your brothers, I said hello. Uh, it was good okay. seeing everybody out in Florida. And I guess I'll be seeing you in December back out of Naples for the Freshman All-American game. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. Sir.